That's right now. Okay. All right, here we go. Ben's right there. I'm the first up. Looks like we're in between a small cell, but the next cell won't be here till way after sunset. So we're gonna get it while we can. And in three, two, one. So while we're going this way, I want to do an in-flight review of none other than Top Gun, baby. Top Gun. If you haven't gone to see Top Gun, Maverick, you know, Top Gun 2, the sequel, 36 years later, you are wrong. I'm sure if you're flying the, or if you're watching this video, you fly a paramotor, or you want to fly a paramotor, or you want to fly something, or you love aviation, you need to go see Top Gun Maverick, Top Gun 2. My wife and I went on the opening weekend. It was one of the biggest uh, Memorial Day openers ever. I think uh, just shy of Pirates of the Caribbean with Johnny Depp. However, uh, I've been waiting for that movie for so long. Like, why did they never come out with Top Gun 2? Before this, why did it take 36 years? But thank goodness they came out with it because it was spectacular. We saw it, make sure, one thing I will say, if you go see Top Gun, don't go to a regular movie theater. You have to see it in Dolby Vision. We, we went to AMC, so it is Dolby Vision. I don't think I haven't seen it in IMAX, but what I did read is that the cameras that they use are not fully... They're certified for IMAX, but they weren't made for IMAX. You can Google that. Um, wow, the air is really smoothed out up here as we climb a little bit higher. But definitely see it. If you go to an AMC, see it in Dolby Vision. Well worth extra money. The seats, they reclined, they were vibrating with the, the sound of the freaking thrust of those fighter jets. The one thing I want to say, I will commend Top Gun Maverick on, is it is a movie for patriots, for Americans, of all kinds, no matter what spectrum of politics or where you come from in the United States, this movie was made for you to enjoy. And I think Tom Cruise really hit that nail on the head because there was zero wokeism, zero politics. When you're watching it, there was nothing jammed down your throat. It was just, look at America. We are amazing. We are awesome and we can do anything we want. The mission, the mission, I'm not gonna give any spoilers away, but the mission was impossible. And that's not a joke because Tom Cruise stars in Mission Impossible. The mission was impossible and they found a way, just like America. The mission is impossible because if you think about what we've had to go through to get to where I can fly a paramotor like this, and you can do whatever you want, within reason, without hurting anybody. I mean, it's an analogy to what America really is. It's like a look in the mirror at what America truly is. And it is greatness out of the impossible. And I mean, that whole movie, just the memories from when I was a little kid of watching that movie, it brought back so many memories and it, it really hit home, hit in my heart with how amazing we are as a country and how amazing our military is, how professional they really are. I know it's just a movie, but I was in the military. So I know that deep down, besides we put, put behind all this wokeness stuff that you see in recent years, we do have the best military in the world. 
call me brainwashed, whatever. But when you see those jets and you feel those jets, those were real jets. The, the producer or the director and producer of Top Gun, they spared nothing. Those shots are real jets. And you feel it, you see it, you feel it in your heart and soul. And I know that some of this, some of the storyline, the plot's corny, but at its core, I'm telling you, you will leave that movie theater, you will not know where you were for that, however long the movie was, you will leave that movie theater and you will come back to reality. And uh, you're just taking on a, a an amazing ride, an amazing ride. You feel like you're there with those, those pilots as they're pulling those G's, bank it up, spin it around. I mean, it was, it was something else. So bottom line, my review of Top Gun, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Go see it. And pull some of those G's, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo! Ah! Woo! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo! Ah, I don't want to go too low. I'm going to stay up here with Ben. I just had to Talking about Top Gun, I just had a burn and turn, baby, burn and turn. Go see Top Gun. If you don't, you're missing out. Because it's not streaming. Tom Cruise said, I'm not streaming. If you don't know, if you didn't know, that movie was done before the pandemic hit. And Tom Cruise said, we're not streaming this. We're waiting. We're going to wait. And he waited and waited until people could get their booties back in the movie theater. And sure enough, people went and saw it. So you better go see it. You love aviation. And let me know what you think. Come back to this video and tell me I was wrong. Tell me I was wrong. You can't. You go see that movie, you can't come tell me I was wrong. Tom Cruise, thank you. Thank you for making that movie. Thank you for staying alive through all those stunts on Mission Impossible so you can make Top Gun 2, Top Gun Maverick. Next, you need to come get on one of these and I'll show you how to really fly instead of on one of those F-18s.